Welcome to Oak Grove STEAM Academy Curriculum Night for third grade. Oak Grove Administration, Principal Penny Valle, Assistant Principal Lee Patty. Meet the third grade team. Starting from the left, we have Ms. Ashworth, who is our ESOL push-in teacher. Ms. Murphy, who is a homeroom teacher. Ms. Rogers, who is our special education teacher for third grade. Ms. Pagano, who is our EIP teacher. Ms. Owen, who is a homeroom teacher. Ms. Hampton, who is another homeroom teacher. And Ms. Guleen, who is also a third grade homeroom teacher. Our expectations for our third grade students is to show soaring behavior in all areas of our school. That means to show respect, obey directions, always be safe, and be ready to learn. When we see students showing soaring behavior, we can give them positive dojo points. Positive dojo points can be used for daily or weekly reward incentives. Third grade student behavior. When students are not showing soaring behavior, students can lose points in Canvas based on their behavior choices. How it works. Each student begins each quarter with 100 points for each class. If a student loses points in any class for the behaviors listed below, the teachers will adjust the points in Canvas. The parent and student will receive an automatic notification of the infraction. These points totals are used by the teachers and administrators to assign appropriate consequences for the actions. Some of these behaviors may be talking, refusal to follow directions, being disrespectful, not keeping hands to themselves, not following directions, no homework, or fighting. Some consequences are phone calls or notes to home, silent lunch, or an office referral. Parent procedures for third grade. Students have a red communication folder that should travel to and from home daily. Please send any notes, forms, or money to be turned in to the teacher in this folder. Also, make sure that you're checking your child's red folder daily due to having new homework or forms or information from the school that is needed to be seen by the parent. Students will also have agendas that they need daily where they will write in them two to three times a week with happenings in the class or school, and also for any behavioral notes from the teacher. Parents should sign nightly. Please pack a healthy snack and a refillable water bottle daily for your child. We do not have lunch until around 11.30 or 12 each day. Please help your child by reading with them and practicing multiplication facts every night. If you're not already, please connect to your child's Canvas account. If you need a pairing code, please reach out to your media specialist, Denise Lewis. Transportation changes. If there are any transportation changes, a note should be sent in the morning. If an emergency situation arises during the school day, please call the school. Do not email your child's teacher with transportation changes. What are standards? Standards are a list of topics and skills that must be covered during the course of the year. Each grade level has their own set of standards for each content area. We will be following the state required Georgia standards for reading, language arts, math, science, and social studies. You can read our complete list of standards for the year on the link below. What is curriculum? Curriculum is how we teach the standards and the resources that we use to do so. Our curriculum is created by the Cherokee County School District's Curriculum and Instruction Department. On this slide, you will see the English language arts lesson structure that teachers use daily to guide their ELA block. In no specific order, starting with whole group, we use about 10 to 15 minutes each day for whole group to discuss specific standards, strategies, or RCD units that we want our students to focus on for the week. Moving to phonics, we spend 30 to 35 minutes each day going over phonics. And starting this year in third grade, we have adopted the foundations program to help improve our students' spelling, reading, and to practice more cursive in third grade. Moving to small group. Small groups are designed based on student reading levels and writing levels, and we create these groups to focus on different strategies that they need more improvement in. So this can look like comprehension or vocabulary, practicing and spelling, and working on independent reading or writing. Moving to writing, our writing block is about 35 to 40 minutes. This is where we will teach traits of writing and the writing process, such as 
free writing, drafting, editing, and publishing to support, to support the instruction. We will also have models of what the grade level writing should look like. We will also be providing different rubrics to help support the writing, especially providing the milestone rubrics throughout the year to prep them for the milestones, and also meeting with small writing groups to conference with them to improve certain skills that they need to work on. ELA, which stands for English Language Arts, will cover major topics supporting reading and writing. Reading will be taught daily through word studies, mini lessons, read alouds, and leveled guided reading centers. This year in reading, the students will primarily focus on literary and informational texts. We're integrating our informational reading with science and social studies standards. Some of the things students will learn using literary texts are to recount stories to determine the central message, describe characters, and compare and contrast themes, settings, and plots from stories in a series written by the same author. During informational reading, your student will learn to read attentively for understanding. They will use the text as the basis for their answers. They will also learn how to use illustrations such as maps, photographs, diagrams, and charts to demonstrate understanding. RAS Kids is a resource that we use in the classroom to support reading and writing. You can also use it at home. To do so, you need to go to the Oak Grove Elementary homepage, scroll down to Learning Tools and click on it, Select the Elementary School Student Resources and then click on the RAS Plus icon. Once you get there, click Log In with Active Directory, enter your school username, and then enter your school password. On this slide, we will continue talking about major topics covered in third grade English language arts. On the previous ELA slide, we talked about reading. On this slide, we will talk about writing. In writing, we will be focusing on opinion, informative and explanatory, and narrative writing through writer's workshop. The students are learning about the writing process, which consists of brainstorming, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. This process can include creating a graphic organizer for collecting your ideas, having your rough draft reviewed by a peer, using tools such as a dictionary or a thesaurus for spelling and word choice, and publishing work in your best handwriting or typed. If you want to view our priority standards, click the links below. On this slide, you will see the mathematics lesson structure that is used daily by each teacher to help guide your ELA block. Starting with the opening, this is where you will see the number sense or number talks routines. This gives us a little bit more time to focus on certain strategies that we may be going over that week or we reviewed last week or we will have in the future introducing standards that align with our learning targets and success criteria, introducing a reviewing related vocabulary, and introducing our already mini lessons that allow us to model on the board and have student engagement. Moving to our work session, this is where students will work on their already lessons on their computer and their already lessons and their books. It also looks like working with partners during group time, to complete an activity that goes along with the standard of the week, meeting with a teacher for small group to focus more on the standard and giving support to students that may need extra support or need an enrichment, and working on activities independently that go along with the unit. With the closing, this is where students have the opportunity to ask questions to help their understanding if they are wondering about something during that unit. This is also an opportunity for the teacher to go over the last few things that students need to know to support them during this unit. Math in third grade. This year, we will be starting with the new standards created by the state that have been revised to be more relevant and relatable to the students. In math, there will be much more emphasis on constructive response using computation, answering, restating the question, and explaining in writing. This means that students write not only the answer to a problem, but also write an explanation of their thinking used to reach their answer. Through explaining, students are demonstrating their understanding. Some topics that will be covered this year in third grade will be multiplication, relating multiplication to division, place value, addition and subtraction up to 10,000, two-step problems and time, fractions as numbers, 
connecting length, perimeter, and area, and two-dimensional shapes. To improve these math skills, students should be on iReady for at least 45 minutes per week with at least three lessons passed per week. If you want to look at the new Georgia Math Curriculum Map and Standards, you can click on the link below. iReady is a resource that we use in the classroom to support math skills. You can also log on to iReady at home. To do so, you can click on the link, which is the Oak Grove Elementary homepage. Then you need to scroll down to Learning Tools and click on it. Select the Elementary School Student Resources and click on the iReady icon. Once you get into iReady, you need to click Log In with Active Directory. Enter your school username and then enter your school password. Once you're into iReady, students and yourself will be able to look at student progress and lessons that they have passed and the amount of minutes they have for the week. Understanding your students' progress and goals in ELA and math. On the left, you have My Progress and Goals sheet that your student will fill out and bring to you on either Thursday or Friday. This sheet explains the assessments that we have already given for beginning of the year, their scores, and then their goals that they want to have for the middle of the year. At the top, we have the Easy CBM assessment, which is used for reading. And this assessment is based out of 20 questions, and whatever they got out of them correctly is their data for the beginning of the year. And then they will set a goal for the middle of the year based on the 20 questions. To work on meeting that goal, there's a list of things that students can do to improve that score. On the bottom, there's the iReady Diagnostic Scores. We will put the scale score of what they currently have and then the goal of what they should be at by the middle of the year. Underneath it, there are also a list of strategies that they can use to improve that score before the middle of the year assessments. And then at the bottom, we have an opportunity to either phone conference or team conference with your child's teacher or no conference at all. And then on the right, we have the iReady math performance sheet. This allows you to see your students' data, um, their percentile, and where they are based on their grade level. On this slide, you see the science lesson structure that teachers use daily to guide their science block. Starting with the opening, this is where we like to engage our students. This is where we introduce standards and then align them with learning targets so that students can have an understanding of what that standard is asking of them to do. We also introduce vocabulary to support the lesson that we're teaching for the day. And then create many lessons anchoring phenomena to generate student curiosity and wondering. And then take the student curiosity and wonderings to make real world connections to make it relevant. Moving to work session, we have three parts that we work on throughout the week, explore, explain, and extend. With the exploring, this is where we make sense of that phenomena through um, experiments, guided questions, hands-on investigations, and research and analysts. With the explain, we like to connect key terms and content skills to the anchoring phenomena, and then collaborate and communicate with our classmates in the classroom and maybe even with our nest buddies. And then with the extend, this is where we stretch our thinking beyond the phenomena and apply that learning to a new and different situation. For the closing, this is where we evaluate and as teachers, we summarize the learning by um, going over things that we have been teaching throughout that lesson or that unit that we want students to gain from that lesson and then create formative assessments and then questions to clarify understanding and promote reflection from students. Science in third grade. We're going to learn about Georgia regions and animal habitats. We're going to build on their second grade knowledge. We're going to learn about physical attributes of rocks and soils and fossils. There's going to be heat production and effects of pollution. The effects of pollution is going to be all part of our year-long PBL, which is problem-based learning. Uh, the students have already began working on that, so you should ask them about taking pictures and the trash and all that good stuff. It's really fun. What you see here is called our STEAM EDP. This is our educational design process. So it goes around the hexagon starting usually at the purple ask, and then we work our way to the right clockwise for research, imagine, plan, create, improve, and communicate. We're gonna go through this process um, as we solve different problems along the way. We'll use the EDP throughout all components in math and reading and writing. Um, and science, of course. So that's a 
really important to our school this year. Uh, we do have a year-long STEAM project. It's going to talk about pollution and waste. And we will also incorporate different STEAM activities. And we are really excited to introduce our vermiculture bin into our classrooms this year. We're going to be creating fossil dances, technology, iPads and laptops, and we're going to show animal adaptations and much, much more. This slide is the social studies lesson structure that teachers use each day to guide their social studies block. Our social studies block is only 10 to 15 minutes each day, which isn't a lot of time, but we do integrate social studies into our reading time to give students the opportunity to gain knowledge from the subject. Starting with the opening, we introduce standards and then align them to the learning target and success criteria so that students have an opportunity to understand what the standard is asking of them. We then introduce a review related vocabulary to the topic and then come up with a hook to try to engage the learners and connect with their prior knowledge. Moving to the work session, this can be independent or with a guided work group to engage the learners. And this can look like inquiry tasks, hands-on performance tasks, exploration of perspectives, including debate, discussion, and collaboration, research analysts, simulation, or integration of culture through the arts. Going on to the closing, this is where teachers like to ask questions to clarify understanding and to promote student reflection. And if students are wondering about something, then this is the time for that. This is also where we summarize the learning. So we go over specific things that we want students to gain from the lesson and then formatively assess to guide instruction. Social studies will be tied directly into reading this year. Uh, some of the topics that cross over are learning about Native Americans and the British colonial America. Uh, isolated topics will include um, European exploration, rivers and mountains in the United States, learning about map skills, branches of government, and economic ideas. everyone, I'm Jenna Morris, and I'm the AIM and ACE teacher. Um, this year, in addition to teaching AIM, the Gifted and Talented Students, I'm also doing ACE, Academic Cognitive Enrichment, which is a critical thinking and extension small group that meets weekly. For that, this fall, we'll, we'll be serving students in grades 1, 2, and 5. Students are identified with school-generated data and eligible students will receive letters to notify parents of participation. I'm so excited to be working with your students this year. If you have any questions, you can email me at jenna.trahern at cherokeek12.net. Here are our lovely ladies who are ESOL team. ESOL means East English as a second language. And these ladies do a fantastic job helping all of our students here at our school.
Our instructional lead strategist is Lauren Cacavone. Lauren helps analyze student assessment data and coaches teachers on CCSD curriculum. This is Ms. Anna. She is our parent engagement facilitator. She helps provide you and your family with resources and she has so many resources that she can get to you to help improve your students academic achievement. She also provides trainings to parents and helps to maintain a partnership between school parents and students. Make sure to pay a visit to our Family Resource Center located inside the Media Center. The Parent Resource Center provides supplemental materials for parents to help their children achieve more in the core content areas of math, science, social studies, reading and writing. The purpose of a parent resource room is for parents to have a place to collect resources to learn more about the importance of positive education and student achievement. Volunteer opportunities at Oak Grove. Be sure that you join the PTA. We could use help in the Media Center helping Mrs. Lewis with the book fair, shelving books, weeding books, and reading across America Week in the clinic helping with hearing and vision testing, in the cafeteria selling ice cream on Fridays, in the office making copies, helping in the office, bulletin boards and campus beautification. In the classroom, you are always welcome to volunteer as a chaperone for class field trips, mentoring and tutoring which require criminal background checks. Please be sure to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Oak Grove Elementary STEAM Academy, on Twitter, Oak Grove Elementary School. Also be sure to follow your student's teacher on Twitter. We also have a new digital newsletter this year. Be sure to read the Eagle Eye for lots of information for parents. Please scan the QR code to give us feedbacks on this presentation and suggestions for the future presentations. 